Welcome back, campers. Time sure flies when you're having a maker camp. And it's flight week, which means we're going to have a week full of plain puns and awkward long pauses. I think we should just focus on the making. Like today, we're making a cloud trolley. <laughs> that plan will never take off. Well, yeah, it would if you could just land a punchline. That was just plain awful. Want to flight about it? Okay, okay, okay. That was bad even for me. But what about this? I didn't even know we had mountains back there. Yeah, campers, and now it's your turn. Let's head out to the quick tips where our familiar face will teach us about zipline toys. Stretch a string between two bicycle spokes and make a ballerina from a thick card sheet. Make notches on both the feet. Make a card sheet arch and fix the doll onto the arch by stapling it in the center. Later, separate both the legs they should be a little apart. Then take magnets and stick them to the end of the arms. The north sticks to the south. The nice thing about the magnets is that you can move them up and down and change the balance. Now place the doll on top of the stretch string and if you give it a little jerk it dances up and down, left and right. It's like a little dancing doll. You can also place it on a bicycle spoke. And this is a rock and roll doll. You might have often seen a person walk on a tightrope holding a bamboo. The balancing bicycle is almost similar. You make a frame with card sheet with a spacer in between. And then you place a wire man. Now this is the wire man and this is the view from the below. The, these are two big wheels like pulleys with deep grooves made from thick card sheet. Now mount the wheels. First the bigger wheel to the right and then the smaller wheel to the left. And finally place a long wire loop from the center and place heavy nuts or ring magnets. This will weigh the entire assembly down. Place the bicycle on a taut thread and because of the low center of gravity it will balance. Now if you raise one end the whole bicycle will move from the left to the right. If the person with the right raises it, it goes to the left. Wow, that's some pretty good bits of information for our projects for Flight Week. Hey, Paloma, you ever flown before? Once, but it wasn't on purpose. It's a bit concerning. Hey, Burke, did you know that the cabin can fly? What? What? I, what? what does that even mean? What? How is this even possible?
Welcome back, campers. We survived our trip into the stars because I remembered how to land a building. So, did you make anything today, Burke? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I made this thing. I, I, I'm still not making anything flat yet. It's been a while. Yeah, well, it always has been a little tough for you. But you didn't make that. That's a picture of Amelia Earhart. She's America's sweetheart and the person who coined the idea of being fashionably late. I made mine, though. Oh, yeah. Candy delivery trolley. Oh, man, Please that's pretty great. You want one? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we, you saw it earlier, but it's really cool. This project is super fun. It's not that hard. You can do it almost anywhere. You could, like, put it along your stairs at home, maybe, and send stuff down, like you have to remember for school. Uh, or you could send it back up using a, a balloon. You said you had a tip about like which balloons to use, right? Yeah, you're gonna want to use those uh, balloons that they use to make balloon animals. So they're they're long and thin. Um, and those work really well because they kind of they're good directional balloons. So and you, you want to look for those at a supermarket or even at a party supply store. Yeah, that's a great tip. You can customize this in a bunch of different ways, so I'd love to see what you do with it. And remember, as always, if this project is too easy or a little too difficult, you can go to MakerCamp.com. We've got a ton of projects there for you to check out. But right now, let's see what you did yesterday. Okay, ready, set, go. This is a really big paper dart, and it's 25 times bigger than a regular one. Wow, campers, you sure were busy while I was gone. Thanks a lot, Paloma. You're welcome. Well, anyway, what did you figure out today, Paloma? That, well, popping and locking is legal, popping locks is not. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Be sure to upload your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community page where you too can become internet famous and do sweet beats and beatbox with your dad. You can also leave your questions and comments for me, Paloma, a person who devised a way to go into the future but can't get to 88 miles per hour in San Francisco traffic. Use hashtag MakerCamp for your Twitter, Instagram, G+, C++, C-, C Sharp, Pearl, Cobol, Fortran. See you later, campers! <laughs>